You know, one of my first goals is to work on getting the, the jail up to staff. We've worked on the pay, the benefits are good. We've actually worked on improving the work environment itself. So we're hoping that some of those changes can help us take those 12 jail openings and reduce it down to a more manageable number. One thing I'm also working on is a, is a system or a way that we can identify when officers themselves are having struggles with either their personal life or their professional life. So that way we can come in and as senior officers or as chaplains, help them get back on their feet and get their mental health refreshed. So that way they're able to serve the community better. I think this, the public a lot of times expects there to be video of everything. So one change we've, we've talked about doing, this hasn't uh, been fully put into place, is getting people to come together and have a central place where they can report that they have a video camera. That way when we do have a, some criminal activity going on, we can refer to, to the registry and say, oh, well, we have cameras here and here. Uh, you know, a lot of businesses now have them automatically, but it's uh, there's definitely been an increase in homeowners placing cameras, which can definitely make a difference in, in how we do police work. I think what it really comes down to is the level of service we provide. I think that, uh, no offense to our brothers in blue, but when brown shows up, things sometimes are handled a little differently. You know, we, we have a jail that we're responsible for maintaining. No, they're undercover, they're all secret. Well, I worked undercover in the 90s, so the law enforcement was a little different then, and equipment was a lot different. And it was some great times and made some great friends. And I won't go into any great stories, but. Believe it or not, I watch forensic files like it's, I go to sleep watching forensic files. There's been many nights where I've left forensic files on all night and I remember hearing things that I must have woke up and heard them talking about. <laughs> so I claim I'm always getting training watching forensic files. Super Troopers, the first one was okay. Super Troopers 2, one of the worst movies I've ever seen. I'm gonna have to go Duncan on that one because Rise and Roll, usually you end up with the, the powdery ones that don't go well with this shirt. Uh, Krispy Kremes are good, if you, especially the fresher they are. But Duncan, yeah, you, and that's the best. That's If younger me was looking and seeing where I would be in the future, I would have probably said, no way. And I'd imagine most of my friends would have thought, N there's no way that he'll ever be the Elkhart County Sheriff. But again, here, here we are. I think my dad's still surprised sometimes because you know, being in law enforcement, there's a lot of times we've leaned on each other with issues and you know difficulties that we've had to face. And, um, He's probably still surprised that, that I'm the sheriff. You know, it's been kind of fun over the years because he was a state trooper. So we've always had this battle of who's better, you know, is it the state police or is it the county? And, and I would always say, well, you troopers just deal with the stuff on the highways. We'll deal with the bad guys. You know, we do a lot more than just write tickets in, in law enforcement. The sheriff's department has a great Facebook page. We have got tons of followers and we put out information on, on our Facebook page about upcoming events. I know here real soon we have a RAD class coming up. RAD is Rape Aggression Defense, where officers come in and teach teach women of all ages how to, how to fight and, and defend themselves. We also do a lot of fun events, so keep an eye out for those things and come on out, hang out with us. We love to meet people, answer questions, throw dodgeballs at you, shoot some shoot some basketball and uh, and just get involved with it. You know, you can use our website. You can go on there and ask a question. There is contact information on there for all the division captains. Uh, if you think you know which area, 
your question should be sent to. You can go on there and email any, anybody on the department. Or you can hit us up on Facebook and, and send us a message or a question or instant message about your issue and we'll do what we can to figure it out.